Today we're at Kalo's Southern Style Barbecue. Let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, we got our barbecue chicken and our tri-tip right here. These are the meats for our two-way plate that we got. You get two meats and three sides. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Today we're at Kalo's Barbecue. Voted number one barbecue in uh, Sacramento in 2023. So we're gonna see what it's talking about. All right, this is side of potato salad. Very small, very small portion of this. Um, I ordered I, I ordered mac and cheese, but they came out and said they didn't have mac and cheese or it wasn't ready, and they had to bring it there. So I mean, that you know, that's a red flag. Uh, and then we got some dirty rice, you know. And they said it's uh, chicken and ground turkey and then like rice. So we got two sides of the dirty rice and then we got that potato salad. And then the tri-tip and chicken, which I've just seen. And some barbecue sauce. This place ain't have no, uh, no yams, no cornbread. Um, yeah, so that that's how it's going so far. Um, the price, the shit was forty three dollars for a, a two way plate. Very expensive. Um, if you order, so if you order tri tip, it's literally three dollars a slice. Like that's insane. Three dollars a slice and. <laughs> This is three dollars. You know that's ins that's insane. That is insane. That is highway fucking robbery. Um, so already, I'm kind of disappointed. You know, kind of disappointed. Probably should have went to Bear West. You know, Bear West Barbecue. But you know, we're gonna see and we're gonna compare and we're gonna talk about the numbers. So we're gonna just go ahead and get right into this. We'll grab this very small tri-tip, about three dollars a slice. Three dollars a slice is insane, bro. I'm sorry. Tri tip's not bad, but I've had way better tri tip than this. Bear West's tri tip is better than this. All right, let's try some of this chicken, the smoked barbecue chicken. See, we got steam coming off the chicken. The chicken fell right off the bone. Chicken's not bad. Chicken's cool. Chicken's decent, it kinda tastes like, almost tastes like rotisserie chicken. So, so far not quite seeing the total hype. Feel like I just wasted money. Um, Potato salad is 
potato salad's kind of good. Okay. Can't complain with the potato salad. As you can see, it is storming, raining outside, and yeah, a little crazy right now. All right, let's see what this dirty rice is talking about. See how dirty it is. I need like a tortilla or something. Throw this in. Well, the jambalaya is okay, but it's just a regular side. They shouldn't be charging extra for this shit, too. The dirty rice and the mac and cheese is an additional $3. That's stupid, you know? There's nothing special about that side, especially mac and cheese, you know what I'm saying? Which they didn't even have, and they still charged me for, basically. So that's a red flag. Like, yeah, I don't see how this could be an additional price with three dollars a slice when you know what I'm saying like how is this more expensive than like ribs or like their links like this is some small ass tri-tip It's decent though. It's not bad. But the rice is cool. $43 for this? Like, this isn't even a lot of food, bro. That's an absurd price. I'm like, damn, no cornbread? No yams? When I think barbecue, I think, you know what I'm saying? I think yams. I'm thinking some cornbread. You know what I'm saying? Or at least some Texas toast, something. Maybe some kind of bread near with barbecue. So granted, this is first meal of the day. And I got a good ass workout in. So your boy is hungry. But I'm really disappointed in how the fuck they price this tri tip. That is my main concern. Leave that shit as a regular side. There's nothing special, spectacular, anything about this goddamn tri tip. Shit is basic as hell. And y'all charging $3 a slice for. Some itty bitty tri tip. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Honestly, y'all should really be ashamed of yourselves. That is crazy. That is crazy. It's robbery and it's wrong. Surprise in the potato salad, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I need some cornbread. Like, y'all ain't got no yams? Okay. 
that's fine. But, nigga, how about a roll? Like, come on, bro. Like, you ain't got no rolls. You ain't got no bread. No cornbread. No Texas toast. Nothing. Chicken, I'll give the chicken. I'll give the chicken like a seven point five out of ten. It just tastes like some rotisserie chicken. There's not too much flavor on it. Saying, gotta dip it in the barbecue sauce. They got a slogan or whatever that I said, they meat don't need no sauce. This chicken definitely need the barbecue sauce 1000%. Otherwise, it just tastes like rotisserie chicken, it's not barbecue chicken. So for the chicken, I literally had that small ass thigh and that small ass drumstick. And then literally had to pay extra $3 a slice for four baby ass pieces of tri-tip when I ordered a two-way plate, which is you choose two meats and you get three sides, three baby ass sides, by the way. And my total was 43 something dollars, bro. And I didn't get a drink. can't feed no family with the meal I just got. I'm damn near done, bro. I'm damn near still hungry. $43 for one person. And I came here for the review. Will I be back? Probably not, bro. Don't get me wrong, bro. The food is, food is good. You know, it's good, you know. Get you something take get you something different, you know what I'm saying? Taste you something different. Like this dirty rice is different. It's not bad, but it can use a tortilla, you know. If you try it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But as far as the pricing of the barbecue. That fucked up the meal, honestly. Because the chicken was... It was average. You know, it tasted like rotisserie chicken. You know what I'm saying? Didn't have no real barbecue flavor. You know what I'm saying? No charcoal. Like, you couldn't taste nothing. Like, it just tasted like rotisserie fucking chicken. And it's like... I order mac and cheese and y'all talking about oh it's an extra three dollars you know come out and be like oh um our mac and cheese we don't have it um we don't have any today or we have to bring it in I'm like what the fuck 
Oh, but you can double up on a, a different side. Well, I already paid an additional $3, and I don't want no fucking beans, and I don't want no greens. So it's like, I don't want another thing of potato salad. That's So I get another dirty rice, because they wanted an extra $3 for that shit, too. So it's like, I already paid the extra 3 So I was just like, Let's give me another dirty rice, whatever. You know, after eating about one cup of that, I don't really, you know... It's not good and it's not that good. We'll be like, oh, let me just go ahead and down both these little size cups of rice. I'm just like, oh, okay. Had the first cup. It was whatever. You know what I'm saying? Tasted something new. But yeah. Now I got my last little baby beef jerky. Last little piece of tri tip. You know what I'm saying? I'll give this a 7 out of 10, too. It's just not. Bear West Tri-Tip is bigger than this. You can get more pieces. And you're going to pay about $22 for your whole meal. And you're going to get yams, mac and cheese, and cornbread. This shit. This shit is not it, bro. I'm sorry. This Tri-Tip is. This tri-Tip is not it, bro. I'm disappointed in Kalos. I thought. It was gonna be ham, cause you know what I'm saying it smelled. It smelled pretty good. You know what I'm saying. Getting into the parking lot, you know what I'm saying it smelled good. I'm like, okay, might be some heat. But they outpriced themselves. They outpriced themselves for sure. And I didn't get no fucking mac and cheese. So, out of 10, it'll get a 7 flat. You know what I'm saying? It's just average. Some average barbecue. 7 out of 10 kilos. I'm saying, what should we try next? Catch y'all on the next one.